Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to solve a very interesting and tricky problem in SQL. This is the trickiest problem I have ever solved till now. So let's see what's the problem. What is the problem? Okay. So here I have a table called cricket. This table contains three columns: team, date, and result. So team is the name of the team. Date is the match and date when the match was played, and the result is the result of that match so w means win l means lose the problem is we have to calculate the longest consecutive winning streak okay so if you see here for team 1 here we have two consecutive wins here we have one win and here it is three consecutive wins so longest consecutive win for team 1 will be three if you see here for team 2 it's one okay for team 3 the longest consecutive win is 2 this is the longest consecutive win so for team 3 the longest consecutive win is win streak is 2 okay so let me copy this data into a g sheet and explain you how to solve this problem okay so here i have copied that data into a g sheet so let's see how to solve that so to solve this the first thing we should come in our mind is how we can group this consecutive wins in a group in their own group okay so what i mean is for team 1 for team 1 this winning group will be in a separate group this win will be in a separate group this three consecutive will win will be in a separate group after we divide after uh, we differentiate them in a different group we can take the count of each group okay each winning group and take the maximum of that okay so let me show you how we can solve this so to solve this problem i am going to first create a column called flag okay and in that flag column i'll put one whenever the result uh, whenever the result column contains one otherwise it will be zero okay so let me convert this to one and zeros so i have created that column flag called flag and wherever wherever uh, the result is 1 i have put 1 and wherever it's lose i have put 0 now what i am going to do is i am going to take the running sum over this flag column okay so here it will be 1 here it will be 2 here it will be 2 here it will be 3 here it will be 3 again 3 again then 4 then 5 and then 6 okay so i have done this for team 1 same it will be for team 2 and team 3 So if you notice here, this winning group is in uh, like this winning group should be in in same group, but here if you see here it's changing. This winning group is in three. This winning group should be in same group, but it's in different groups four, five, six. Okay, so this is not what we wanted. So we wanted that this winning groups sh should be in a one group. So it should be like one one over here. This should be. to this should be 3 3 3 like that but it's changing but notice the one thing here whenever there is zero then it's not changing here if you see here the here it will it contains zero then it's not changing here here it is zero it's not changing here here it, here it is zero it's not changing here so what how how we can use this thing to create the group so this is the trick i am talking about so what i am going to do is i am going to delete all this thing i am going to create the flag column again but now this time i'll put one only when the previous row is lose and the current row is win so whenever the transition is happening from lose to win then there will be one otherwise is otherwise it will be zero so here it will be one because the transition is happening from lose to win the previous value is lose then it is one so i am putting one over here same way here if you see the previous the previous row is lose and then win so here it will be one and here it will be 0 0 and here it will be 0 0 0 0 and for this thing where the previous row is null okay we don't have previous value and the current value is win then also we have to put one over here and now if i take the running sum see what happens see the magic happens here here it will be 1 here it will be 1 again 
here it will be one again here it will be two here it will be two here it will be two here it will be three three and three and same way for this team two and team three also okay now if you see all the wins which are consecutive are in same group here if you see this winning sequence is is in group one this is in group two this winning sequence is in group three okay so now if we group by this column and take the maximum of that then we can find the maximum longest consecutive winning sequence before taking the maximum we need to remove this filter out this loose thing okay so let me go to the sql editor and show you how how to solve this thing so here i am in this sql editor okay so first i am going to create that flag column okay so i am going to do select star comma case when when lag of i am using lag because i want to check the previous row okay so lag of result one over i want to calculate that column for each team so that's why i'm going to partition it by team so partition partition by team order by date okay so whenever the previous value is loose and the current value for the result column is win then i'm going to put one okay and same thing we need to handle for the condition where the previous row is null okay so this thing will be is null so in the second second case statement we are handling when the result previous row of the result column is null we don't have any value and the current row is current value for result column is one then one else we are going to put zero and as flag from db dot cricket now if i run this thing so if you see now here when the transition is happening from lose to win it's one when the previous row uh, previous value for result column is null and the current value is win so here it is one so we have successfully created the flag column okay so now i am going to take this whole thing into a ct i am going to name it as data i am going to write select star i am going to take the running sum over that flag column okay so sum of flag column sum of flag over part partition by team order by date as as from the ct name ct name is data okay now let me run this data okay so if you see here what i have explained in the g sheet same is coming here okay so for for the this this winning group is in uh, one uh, one group this win is in another group so this win is in another group don't bother about the, this loose thing we will filter out before taking the count okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to write a query on top of this so the query will be select as comma team comma count of star count of star from this thing let me give it a uh, alias a where result not equal to lose let me run this thing group by is missing group by 1 comma 2 so now if you see here for team 
we have three winning sequences okay so that's why for each winning sequence we are getting how many rows we have okay so if you go to that g sheet so if you see here for team one we have two winning uh, three winning sequences first one is this second one is this and third one is this so for each winning sequences for each team we are returning how many rows it have so for team one so this sequence have two rows winning winning rows this uh, this and this is one winning rows and this group has three winning rows so that's what it's returning in the sql editor so for team 2 we have two winning sequences each sequence sequence contains one one rows okay so for team 3 we have two winning sequences so one sequence contains two win and other sequence contain only one win so now i am going to write one more query on top of this okay so query so query is select team comma max of now i am going to take take the maximum of this this column the count column okay let me name this as c and t so i am going to take the maximum of, of maximum of the count column okay for each team so maximum of c and t from this let me give it a alias b group by one let me run this thing now if we see here for team two the lo longest winning sequence is three for team two it's one and team three is two you can check this in that sheet also so for team one the longest winning sequence is three okay this this sequence so for team two it's one take this one or this one it's same for team three the longest winning sequence is two okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new so for more such sql videos you can subscribe to my channel until next time bye